All right, everybody, welcome back to Just Playing Crazy. I'm Brendan. Hey, we are down here in Neon Exposure. We are in Dubois, Pennsylvania, I guess right outside of Dubois. And I am going to be joined by my man at the time. Come on over, Dave Simmons. Dave Simmons is the, if we can get you in the camera there, he's the man, the myth, the legend behind Neon Exposure. And we're going to talk about what you guys see there in the background. Dave is a master at doing neon uh, tubing bending, so making neon signs, graphics, banners, and all that cool stuff. Just playing crazy, got himself hooked up with a new trailer, so he uh, sought out Dave for his expertise and some help to get this thing all dolled and dressed up. We are actually down here in his shop right now, and we are hanging out. Lots of RC aviation stuff going around in here. If you guys look, I'm going to show you the shop. We're going to hop on over to the other guys over here. We got. Larry, so we're all hanging out. We're doing some graphics. We're doing RC helicopter stuff over there. We got some tubing bending stuff going on. We got some cool EDF jet stuff there. If you guys get to see that on the bench. All right. And then behind me, we got this cool graphic stuff. So let me go ahead and show you what we got going on. So this is the work that this man does. He's been doing this. He has been involved in this industry for 40 years, protect, uh, it, it kind of just perfecting his craft. So I sought him out to make me some of these cool neon signs, as you see with my logo. He tweaked things a little bit, showed me a little bit of his skills and expertise, gave me his advice, and that is what the man created. So we have a nice cool sign up here with the lettering all done in neon. And he is going to show you live how he's done some of this stuff. And then he gave me another example of some different style work with some backlighting in that lettering right there. And over here, we've done the trailer up, the new plane hauler. He's got the Just Plain Crazy logos on the side. And we also have a banner right there. So for you guys, if you're checking out this broadcast or you're checking out this video, I want you to hit up the description down below if you're looking for anything custom for your shop. All you got to do is send him the information and he will get you hooked up. And if you tell him Just Plain Crazy sent you for anything RC related, he's going to give you 10% off. So that is a very cool deal. And I just want to showcase this man's talent. And he's also got me hooked up with some pretty cool Just Plain Crazy stickers. So if you guys are interested, you catch me at the fly-ins or at your field, do me a favor. Go ahead and uh, ask me for some cool stickers and we're going to get you hooked up uh, with some freebies. Come hang out with me. Let's talk. And this is the group of guys right here when we are hanging out in the shop as we are doing today as you look around. It is all RC and food related here, guys. This is a great group of people to hang around with to uh, have just a, a great time. And I want to show you some of Dave's really cool heli stuff. So let's go over here and take a walk. Dave's going to come along with me. And this is, I got to meet Dave first and foremost uh, at the flying field through connections with the rest of the guys here. And if you can see, that is his electric llama. He flies jetty as well. They were working on installing the RC Geek center burner in this thing earlier. Now, I'm not a heli guy, and I don't know a thing about helis, but we're going to come back to this stuff, and I am going to give you all of the insight you can possibly imagine through the man and the myth, the legend here, Dave and Ronnie, they will get you hooked up with that information. So um, what do you say we make a, a trip into the back and check out some more cool heli stuff? Dave's here with me. Let's take a walk through the shop and see what's going on, going on over here. Now, look, this is a sign that he's fixed up. Somebody brought to him and said, hey, I got this cool neon sign. Can you help me fix it? This is a die and craft, guys, just like building stick uh, model airplanes or really just building from scratch. That's all handcrafted stuff. And, uh, you know, he wants to kind of get his his information out there and his skills and techniques as well. But if you're just looking for somebody to hook you up with something cool, he is going to be your man. Those signs, he has that craft to fix those. As you see up here on the wall, we have some more. Uh, you got a Pepsi logo sign uh, that's on draft that was repaired. He's got the Budweiser one up there that was repaired. And we got some of his cool handcrafted art that he actually draws up. If you guys get to see that there and some really gorgeous stencil work that he's got over his bench, just handcrafted. The guy is an absolute whiz. 
We have a clock up there that he restored. And correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, that clock right there, 1950s, you said, is an all original, just nice showpiece for the shop. Correct. Am I correct with that? Yep. Cool. So this is what the man does. He bends neon tubing. He makes custom signs. And as I said, uh, neon exposure here. Hit up all the descriptions and the information in the link below in the description. Send your information to him. If you have a sign you want for the shop, because that's what we're hanging over in the layer when we get home, is one of those cool neon. But we are going to let you see a little bit of how all this stuff occurs. So you're going to see there on the bench, if I can try and get around the glare here a little bit. There you go. So that's how Dave starts. He starts off with a copy of the stencil of the outline. And you have all of the stuff kind of laid out as he wanted to trace all those letters. But he doesn't bend on that side. He ha actually has to flip everything and he does it on the back. And the reason he creates everything on the back is because all his features and functions have to come out of the back of the assembly. So he's going to lay this underneath the screen and he's going to custom bend some tube right here for you guys. If you want to see how he made a lot of the just plain crazy stuff. So why don't you work your magic there, my man? Pushes the forward. All right. And this is why it's in reverse, because all these bends come up towards us. So that's why it's bent in reverse. So when it's flipped over, it's nice and flush. And what are those tubes on the back? What are those big things with the wires sticking out? How do those come into play? These are electrodes right here. This is what fires the, the gas up. They, they, they ignite the glass gas there used to be well you know incandescent bulb there's a wire in them so in neon the gas is actually the wire that goes through the tube that makes the connection for their 60 cycles a second to fire it so do you actually fill are all those tubes filled with some type of That's gas on right. in the inside what type of gas is in there this would be neon which is extracted from the atmosphere okay and anything that's colored, your blue tubes, green tubes, yellow tubes, any purple tubes, all anything that's colored is filled with argon with K4. Okay. And K4 makes the units burn a little bit warmer, hotter in the wintertime. So that's the only reason they call it K4. That's that's technical stuff. We don't need to get into that. So why don't you show us? Go ahead and try and uh, lay out, kind of follow that pattern there, the Just Plain Crazy logo. Again, like I said, we're in the layer here joined by... The man, the myth, Ronnie Legend. We got Enrique, we got Larry, and then we got the man from Neon Exposure himself here, Dave Simmons. And he's going to trace, I think I'm in his way here for his tubes. He's going to show you how he laid out the letters for the Just Plain Crazy logo. While he grabs that, I am going to slide around the back. I want to show you here real quick, a quick glimpse of what I got behind me. Now, if I can rump my head in there, if you guys can see that, if that tells you the size of this turbine scale llama that he has here in his workshop, this thing is massive. It is gorgeous. Look at this thing. I'm not a heli guy, so I can't tell you a lot about helis, but I've seen this thing fly, and it is super, super impressive. So why don't uh, I'm going to pull the heli man himself in here, Mr. Ronnie. We're going to get him in the picture hey and we're going to put that llama in the background as dave's getting his tube set up and the fire blare why don't you tell us just a little bit about this heli and what makes it special this is a one-fifth scale vario llama with a jackadowski turbine on it it's been uh 89,000 rpms and what's that thing run on for fuel uh it's basically kerosene jet a so just basically jet fuel kerosene yep that is sweet what is the weight on that thing do you know and, and propeller span on that? 48 pounds. And it's uh, probably around a 78 foot rotor span as well. So it's a pretty, pretty beefy machine. I've had, a, I've had an opportunity to see that thing fly at our field a couple times for different events. And it is, it is by far a showstopper. It's super, such a, a super nice piece. Um, again, as we, we walk around, there's tons and tons of heli stuff here. I'm going to show you guys just a little bit more of the helis in the background. So Dave is a heli enthusiast himself. Uh, again, you can hit up the information to see his site and some of his other pieces on the work. Some of the other pieces of work on his website, you can check that stuff out. 
You set up? You good to go, brother? All right. So here we are. We're going to cut over to the logo, and we are going to watch the man work. So he's got this uh, tube hanging out of your mouth. What do you do with the tube, brother? It's to put pressure into the glass as you're bending it. You'll see once I start to bend, you'll see that the glass will start to collapse. And when I go to make the bend here, I'll show you. I'll blow into it, and it blows the glass back out to the right diameter. And when it comes to bending neon, the thickness of that wall, I doubt you can see it, but the thickness of that wall, too thick cracks, too thin cracks. So that's one of the tricks about learning glass is to know how much pressure to put into the tube when you bend it so you don't over extend it so it'll crack. So it's an experience skill, stuff it, you it, learn through years of experience. So what we're going to do is we're going to start can you see that through the screen? We're yep. going to start on the bottom. This is the outside ring of your neon sign out there. So we're going to bend this to here, to here, to here, like that, around the outside edge of that. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that from over there. If you want, you can stand right behind me or whatever. Yep. And I'm turning the tube a quarter turn, and you can see there's a pencil mark right there. It kind of, oops, see, it's kind of right there? Yep. But, to speed this back up to where I should be bending it. So now it's hot, make the bend, blow just a little bit, step back, and then we're gonna put it on here, line it up. Wait a second. And is that giving it time to cool and then harden into shape? Is that what we're doing there? And right there, it's hard. Okay. That fast. So that's all the more time you have to work with this. So now we're going to make a 90 go in the other direction. Now. And, and the that, whole time you're blowing pressure into that was your heat. Correct. And that being said, guys, Dave has manufactured all these torches himself and customized all those torches to what he needs to be able to do with those torches, along with the gas and the everything. It's all custom. Now, I need that. Yep. Thank you. And there you can see how he's got that outside framework of the old Just Plain Crazy logo started. If you guys can see, he's underneath this. It's kind of, is this a copper material? Is that yeah, what this meshing screen. is? There's the pattern. This is where we are. Yeah, and that's what he's following. So he's doing the heat and the bending there and actually laying that out. And you can make these things any color you want, correct? Yeah, yeah. there's 52, what, 52 different colors of neon. Okay. It's available. A lot of people don't know that. but All right, we're going to fire this burner up right here. This is called a ribbon burner. This is going to make a lot of noise, so you'll have to talk louder. All right, so we're going to come over here. Dave, now this is Dave Simmons. Dave was uh, actually featured on PCN Tours, which is a uh, popular show in, in PA where they, they showcase people that have talents that they've worked on and like hand craftsmanship and stuff. So what's the purpose of that ribbon burner over the other one? Well, you see on the other one, we can only make short 90. Okay. 90, 90, short, short bend. Okay. This one here, you'll see relatively quickly, it'll become like a noodle. Right now, you can see that it's pretty robust. All right, pretty rigid. So, it'll take, it'll take about a minute and a half for this to come up to temperature. And it's the same process. I'm going to heat it so it's hot on the bottom, hot on the side, hot on the side, and then every once in a while, you'll see a roll over to where it's hot on the top. But i got to keep moving on this so I can't slow it down too much. So, that fast, you can see how. How soft it gets. Well, that was really cool. Bending that into a noodle. Do a little minor adjustment here. And this is not by any means easy. He let me try this once, and it is very difficult to keep that glass from just bowing the wrong way. So... Part of what we're doing here, if you guys get to see this, is just showcase some of the craftsmanship and skill that goes into something like these custom pieces of work. We do it with planes. 
this man here is doing it um, with glass tubing and making and fixing all these cool neon signs that you see in like um, diners and, you know, a lot of signage. Uh, here in Dubois, there's a lot of custom neon signing that this man has been part of. They really kind of showcase the town and give it that old 60s retro kind of feel and look. So when it came down to wanting something cool to dress up the shop and then also keep that just plain crazy trailer rolling, I had to seek this guy out uh, from Neon Exposure. And again, you know, just giving you some insight into the level of craftsmanship and work that 40 years in the making kind of gives you. And, uh, you know, the, the man's an expert in his craft, as well as like we said, if you look there, in the background, he is a he's a big aviation enthusiast as far as helis go. So I wanted to share that with you again. If you guys are interested, custom banners, custom signs, custom logos, something cool neon for your own place, just like the Just Plain Crazy ones I'm going to take you back and show you right now. You guys got to go check him out down below. Again, tell him Just Plain Crazy sent you, and he will give you, if it's an RC-related order, no commercial, sorry guys, you're out there. If it's RC-related, you can get 10% off, so he can get you some really cool custom stuff. Let's take a walk back down and look at the old Just Plain Crazy trailer. And then I am going to cut to Mr. Ronnie London, and he's going to talk about some really cool carp EDF stuff if you guys are interested in that. So, uh, see one more thing on this yeah, screen? let's let's see it, man. What do you got? I forgot to show you this when we were, we were talking there. This is how you weld So you're going to join two pieces of glass? Gonna, I'm going to cut it. All right. Then we're going to weld it back together. So you can weld glass. So that's what you do with all these pieces. It's not one run. You can cut as you go. Now calm down. So cutting it. Yep. File. That's cut, right? That's slick. Just like that. And it didn't shatter. Just like that. Just plain crazy. I've been having and glass pieces all over the place. You can see that with the camera or not, but it's fairly straight. Nice. Now, we're going to shorten it up a little bit. So brazing. You preheat the steel when you're brazing. This is the same difference. You just preheat the glass. No t-shirts were ruined in this. No, <laughs> no hair was set on fire. <laughs> this is this is where you get the big beer gut on the counter from just playing crazy and it burns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. How's that? Is it better? Yeah, we got the old low warning on the cell phone here. I hope you guys are getting a good view of that. It looks like it. I'm hurrying here because I knew you said you're running low. So in a nutshell, that's how it's welded back together. Heat it, make it gooey, blow some air in it, I guess, to get some pressure in there, right? Keep yep. the channel open. And what's the uh, rock for? Is it for smoothing or taking out heat? It's basically for keeping it flat to the table. Okay. So you don't get any weird undulations yeah. or whatever to it. Cool. Striations or whatever you want to call it. And there he is. So we thank Dave a lot for giving us the hookup. We appreciate it, Dave. Thank you. you so let's take a troll out here. Let's take one more look, fellas. As we go through the shop of, again, some of his other, if you guys can see it, Bud Light masterpieces there. Um, we're going to hop back into more RC-related again. The old electric llama. He's not a emu, emu. Right, that's that, that cool old commercial that they got back there. But check this out. So we got the big old Just Playing Crazy on the trailer. So you see it. Smash that subscribe button for me, guys. As you go up the highway, make sure you give this uh, live a like for me. Kenny Sprouse is in here. We got Tug Hill. We got Mr. Jason Rice. We got Mr. EQ in the house. Plains Archery Table and Tennis. Jackson was here. Uh, Hamilton's Hanger. Ding, ding, ding. Say, I love it. See, look at that. See, my boy's got my back, right? So check that stuff out. We got the banner down there. We got, check out that neon artwork. We got a red and a green. So, Mr. London, what do you got going down here, my friend? We got ourselves a big salad shooter on the table. That thing is immense. There's stuff next to it. So, this, this EDF, guys, you got to look at this EDF. This EDF is actually powered 
by a certain turbine jet fuel in this thing. Those that's, things that works really well. That's by the, the way. afterburner fluid. <laughs> the afterburner. So why, yeah. why don't you tell me about what you got here on the bench? They got this really cool, fancy looking aluminum piece of work right here. What you got? So this is 128 millimeter Vassi fan uh, from Vassi fan in Italy. Um, custom manufactured um, with a uh, 10 shock 53. 85 custom wound motor for this will be 18 s application so this was built for me right before chinese new year and uh hopefully by the end of this weekend we'll be firing this up and uh i've been playing with uh the new 3d printer obviously and uh i can do we can do about 15 and three quarter inches high so from here to the center is uh 12 and a half and then from here to the end is about uh, 12. So this will get about a 15 degree angle cut on the end of it. And then this will be fastened. And this is for strictly testing only. So we'll do testing on this fan unit with uh, 18S um, without any thrust tube. 18S is how many volts? 75 volts. 75 volts. That'll kill you. Yeah. So anyway, so we use that thing at home at my place on, on leaf blowers and stuff like that, guys. But check this out. So tell me about the what, what's the, the fancy piece of aluminum you have that thing bolted down into? What is that right there? So it's basically a JP dyno, uh, dyno mount. Um, you take these pieces out in the center here, and you can do anywhere from 50 millimeter the whole way up to 160 millimeter fan unit. And then this is purely just thrust thrust rated stand and then there's a load cell in the bottom that uh gives you your thrust so normally i would buy like an rc lander uh test stand but you can't run 75 volts through it so um, <laughs> it's 75 volts yeah. i love it this is what it is and um normally anything else other than this being run on here will be through jetty telemetry anyway so I really don't need the telemetry from the stand itself, from the from the uh, EDF stand itself. So, well, this one here is going to be an APD Australian Speed Control, which hopefully I can get on with the Pixhawk controller from uh, uh, commercial UAV and tap right into that ESC and pull it right back through Jetty telemetry. Um, that's something I have to work on, though. So he's getting, he's going to be able to get guys all of his thrust information, his testing right out at his dyno stand, tune that there with his big leaf blower tube and actually see what some of his base information is to put it in a uh, Carf Rebel jet that's going to be approximately how many pounds? I'm hoping no more than 26, 20, 26 pounds on an EDF. I love it. So if you guys get to see here on the, uh, the workbench, um as we we kind of wind down here you're going to see this beautiful wing assembly this beautiful carf wing assembly look at that thing and this is look at the look at the fine dress up there if you guys can see it on the linkage look at that so just playing crazy's favorite color is orange i love it so he built this just for me when it's all said and done he's going to be giving it to the just playing crazy raffle fund over there <laughs> maybe not but anyway Look at, look at, look at how clean everything is. I mean, the guy does some really nice detailed work and uh, beautiful jet. I can't wait to see that up in the air and look at, look at the connector, the special connectors he makes in there. Tons of wiring coming out of this thing. So yeah, the, the man has it, the man has it going on. And what do you got down there? What's in the box? Well, you want to share? We have, uh, a little LED afterburner action going on, but uh, from Hyperdyne Labs, I uh, just posted this on Facebook the other day. So um, I, I want to do an internal up inside the tube, and then the tail portion of the tube is going to be uh, PTEG. And so see-through. So you're going to get all your lights through to see-through right. to get that nice afterburner effect. So in theory, this, this tube, thrust tube, will be in testing. And then the final version of that, just the tail portion, will be completely transparent, and the LEDs will act like a uh, like a uh, holographic or or even a uh, oh geez, fiber optic, so to speak. The whole tail tube will be a fiber optic 
lens, basically. So lots of uh, airplane heli stuff going on here, guys. Again, if you're interested in more of that information on the LEDs or the stuff that Ronnie's working on, you can look up Ronnie London over on Facebook. You can see his posts over there. Again, we are at Neon Exposure here with Mr. Dave Simmons there as we can catch him in the, in the background, hiding down there, giving us the thumbs up. We got the rest of the crew there in the, in the background. All right, let me, let me cut back over here just so you guys get to see it. Again, this guy's got 40 years worth of experience right there, and you can check him out over at www.neonexposure.com. All the information is in the bottom. If you tell him that Just Plain Crazy sent you over to his page, if you want a custom logo like I got back there on the trailer, look at the neon work right there. Look at that. He made me two custom signs. One of them is going to go in the lair, and one of them is going to be traveling with me. So this is a, uh, a dying craft, almost like stick building or scratch building RC aircraft, if we can relate. So this guy definitely keeps the hobby going, and it is a skill set that is learned. It's not purchased. I am surrounded by super great people here with uh, a lot of great skills, whether it's uh, my buddy Larry with woodworking, Enrique, who's also into glass Manu manufacturing all right we got uh dave simmons over there from neon exposure and my buddy ronnie who's engineering the killing out of absolutely everything but if you're interested in stuff from neon exposure you can hit him up through the website and you can actually tell him hey i got this logo or this sign and i'm looking for something that's kind of that retro 60s look like that but also as we look down here we got banners for the pop-up tents now at the field so you can make sure you find just playing crazy come seek me out and uh as long as we still have them on hand we'll hook you up with some just playing crazy stickers there as well but we got the nice big logo there on the side of the new pimp my ride trailer so i love it so we have to have room for the new stuff that's coming our way lots of cool gator rc projects and things like that that we are going to be working on but i wanted to share with you guys as we're down here in uh, neon exposure and just hanging out talking a lot of stuff rc having just a good time when the weather isn't so great to do it plus it's dark all right so we don't always spend time out flying and night flying and things like that but Let's see who else we got here in the house that I didn't give a, a shout out to. If I miss you, I apologize. Um, but Kenny, we got Wild Bill. We got Tug Hill in here. You guys got any questions for me? Throw them in the comments down there. What do you got? Tug Hill, thanks, man, for the trailer. It is a 7x14. Um, we need this thing to be hauling around. We got the old Hangar 9 X Cub. We're hanging back there. Of course, the Motion RC Freewing AL. We're going to have that new Texan 2 from Gator RC and then that Monster Giant Scale 0. So we got to have room to bring all this stuff. And, and a Traeger! Let's, and let's not forget the Traeger because we got to cook on there. We got to cook the ribs. We got to cook the pork roast um, and have just an overall good time. So any, uh, any questions, anything you guys got for me down there while we're just hanging out here at Neon Exposure for the evening? Questions about Jetty EX Bus? Uh, LOL. Longer conversation though. Yeah, and Brendan is not the Jetty Master. Um, I can oh. tell you, I could tell you who is. Hook up with uh, Harry Curzon if you haven't seen his YouTube videos. I will give him a shout out forever because the stuff is pretty simple and well done. Also over at uh, Aero Panda or Esprit Models. Um, you can look up a lot of YouTube videos from them as well. Great, great stuff. Um, really great stuff wow. there. And all of those people are willing to help you out on all those face groups when it comes down to the Jetty stuff. But when it comes down to buying quality stuff i'm telling you uh i've had a lot of good experiences with that jetty even though i am just a beginner in it it is fabulous fabulous radio equipment it is fantastic so um what else you guys got as we're we're hanging out here any other questions what do you guys think of the neon signs that pimp or what look at that got the old subscribe logo there as we go i love i love the neon we're not going to leave the neon if you're interested we're not leaving the neon on the side of the trailer uh, I would like two decals for my trailer um, free. Yeah. So, hey, and uh, just so you guys know, as long as I have some of those Dave Simmons specials, the Neon Exposure special stickers, come over to me, ask for a sticker. Um, I like to sign a lot. Yeah, it is super pimp for the pop-up tent. So if you guys have something, Hamilton's hangar, and you want your own, 
uh, make sure you guys hop on over to neonexposure.com and tell him just plain crazy sent you as long as it's RC related, non-commercial stuff, they're exempt, they're out of this. Um, but if you have anything RC related that you want to get him to custom make banners, signs, logos, stickers, decals, vinyl, whatever, uh, the man does top notch work, super work. Look at, look at how pimp that looks back there on the old JPC trailer. Uh, Kenny says, might have to talk to him about, uh, that guy with the birds neon. Oh, that would look cool. Kenny, for sure. Look up here behind me. So you got the color spectrum. It's kind of hard for that to show up. I don't know if I can turn a certain way for all the neon colors that you can see up there. So you have tons and tons of choices. Yeah, um, it's cause it's a color spectrum. We're on the color spectrum. So I, I, my big head's in the way. How do you get that out of the way? So if you guys can see that right there look at how cool that looks so the difference the difference between these two so we're just going to pan up right there a little bit so here you can see he did all the letters in that hand-blown glass which looks really cool and follows the logo and as we come down just the hair here you can see he did this one in a neon green and he stretches this one around and he backlights the logo so that stuff is absolutely pimp looking um, again, as if you didn't catch the beginning of this with Dave from Neon Exposure, you can go ahead and uh, run back through the beginning of the video and you can see some of the techniques that he uses. Again, 40 years worth of experience from a guy that's been on national TV before doing this stuff. So um, with that being said, yeah, awesome. Yeah, look him up. He'll give you 10% off as long as it's a non-commercial deal. Anything RC related, because he is an RC aviation enthusiast. We got plenty, plenty of uh, helis here. I'm not a heli guy, so I kind of feel out of place. It's like driving an Audi or Volkswagen. It's not it's not my thing, right? So that's 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 in the name. That's in the just plain crazy portion of the name. It's not just heli crazy. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, it looks great. Thanks, great, Scott RC. Thanks for joining me. Um, the backlit logo, yeah, it, you know, he showed me both of those. I asked him, I said, here's what I want to do, and I just want you to do your thing. Be the man, the myth, the legend, and that's what he uh, provided for me. So, um, you know, he gave me two different choices to look from, and guess what? We're taking them both. So they look phenomenal. They are actually really, really nice. Uh, the camera, I can even say, doesn't really do them justice. I'm trying to get my big head out of the way so you guys can still see them. But that looks absolutely cool. So uh, Patrick's in the house with us. We got Timmy Tutant that's just joining us. Kenny Sprouse is still here. Hamilton's hangar again. I know that I caught Jackson, RC Aviation in here earlier. Tug Hill, EQ. Lots of great people. We got Jason. So we said great people. We'll cut Jason out of it. We'll leave him for the other people. Ah, nah, Jason's great people too. So um, I thank you guys for hopping in and joining us live as we're down here at Neon Exposure, just having a good time. We ate some wings, some bolis earlier, uh, had a couple of, of, of Pepsis, right? We can't, we don't have the Traegers going, but I can guarantee you find us all down at the field. We definitely got the Traegers going. But look how good that looks from a distance. You're going to see the old Just Plain Crazy Mobile headed up the road, all right? Make sure that uh, you punch the old like button there, Mr. Jason Rice. We've got lots of cool events coming, but... Like, you got to see the background. Like, this man's got really cool just neon signs absolutely everywhere. And he can do any custom work you want in that neon spectrum. If we can get that back here in the background, we got that thing right there. Um, we're going to walk around the back of this thing and check out some of them logos, be a little bit closer. Got the old Just Plain Crazy vinyl sticker right there. And that's a nice matte finish sticker. And then check out what we got here. So we got the old blue moon. We got the old straw. Dave, did you hand do those? Are they repairs? or no, 650 brand new ones we did for, for straw. 650 of them signs you blew yep. by hand and made for that company. Correct. That is insane. All yourself. The no back, machines. No machines. No cut machines. The back, the back's cut out with a CNC. The... Uh, the little plate on the bottom is backlit the same as I did on your sign. Okay. And the one over here, over your right shoulder that says Pocono Brewing Company, we did a hundred of those right here. Oh, uh, the fire looking one. So I got, oh, there it is. Yeah. We did a hundred of those for, for them. They're out by the Pocono's racetrack. Out, yeah. Out there. Same thing. Same principle. The bottom plate with the backlights. You can't pick some of this up on a camera, but... Yeah. And in the big picture, if you want your airplane printed on a big giant piece of aluminum, I can, that, that there is an actual photograph of the Loma that I fly. 
the I wanted a big one for in my shop for yeah. So you're telling me, so you're telling me if I got a really cool picture of my plane, you can take that thing and blow it up into something cool and put it on a big old sheet of aluminum like that. And hang it in your shop. And can you dress it up with neon around yeah, the outside? You can do all kind of cool stuff. With ah, that. you know what we say about that? Yeah. That's just plain crazy. <laughs> ah. So Hey, if you're interested in any of this stuff, again, links down in the description below here at Neon Exposure. Um, super happy with the way the trailer, look how big that is. If that puts you in into a good perspective on that logo, that thing is absolutely immense. So again, having a good time, uh, good time down here with all my boys in the background, grabbing some food, hanging out. Definitely needed it this week. It's been a long week and uh, super happy to hang out with the crew and uh, chill for a little bit and do some RC aviation stuff that's related. But I wanted to share this with you guys. It's been uh, a little bit in the works now going back and forth. And Dave told me, hey, this stuff is finally good to go and it is ready. Again, trying to get my big head which way we go. Um, you know, it is it is nice to see the quality of work that he put in here for me. But he told me it's ready. It's time to come get it. So we brought the trailer up here and he did all of the graphic work for me. We're going to hang one of them up in the shop. So anytime you're checking out the Just Playing Crazy videos, you ought to find one of those bad boys illuminated. Feel like we're straight out of the 60s. But again, this is just a, a handcraft that he's picked up over 40 years of experience. You want stuff that's cool and one-off pieces like this, you know, kind of eclectic pieces, if you will. Neon Exposure and Dave Simmons is your man. Larry Bond, sheet metal. Ah, uh, so made. custom. So, Larry, we're going to throw a plug. Where are you, brother? Okay, he has the plasma cutter. He's got the plasma cutter he for stainless steel. He welds. Larry, give us your web address, brother. Larry Bond, lbsheetmetal.com. LB lbsheetmetal.com. And you can check him out for custom sheet metal work if you're interested. So, uh, like the old emu emu. All right. So that's really cool. I did. It's stuck in the head. Yeah. So somebody throw it out. So you can check, uh, Larry, you still got your Facebook page, brother. Yeah. You got, is it still LB sheet metal as well? Yeah. All right. So, uh, you know what he's got over there? Number one, if you're hanging out at the RC field and you're looking for some really cool stainless steel tiki torches, cause the junk ones you buy at Walmart fall apart every year. That's the guy. And also, if you want one of those cool fire rings with all the nice animal shapes and stuff in the side of it, if you're a hunting guy or an RC guy, I'm sure. Larry, can you find a way to cut planes and stuff into the side of them, oh, or is it fixed? Cut he can cut planes in the side. We don't do heli cuts in the side of the sheet cheap. metal, though. <laughs> all right, so probably he could. He probably could. Yeah. Yeah, so that's just cool. It's like we like to say, it's just plain crazy. So anyway... If you guys haven't done so already, we got 16 people in here right now. Lots will get, uh, grab this video along the way. We're hanging out at Neon Exposure as we are getting hooked up with uh, Just Plain Crazy signage and neon lighting in the background. He does custom sticker work. He's got some nice pinstriping stuff back here on the wall that he does, if you guys can see that. Look at the 3D. It's Just Plain Crazy. It's taken off as it is. It's, it's all Just Plain Crazy. So... Uh, if you haven't done so already, sl smash that like button for me. Uh, make sure you share and subscribe if you know anyone else that's interested in this type of material or information. Um, again, if you mention Just Plain Crazy and you check out Neon Exposure, he'll give you 10% off of that order as long as it's RC related. No commercial deals there. Sorry, guys. Um, but otherwise, I super appreciate every one of you guys um, hanging out here with me for a little bit as we do this live. Michael's in the house. Uh, listen, I touch this every time and every time I screw it up, is Rizka. it Braska? Rizka. So Rizka, please, Ebonic, spell it out for me. Say, type it in there. I know you do it. I know you do it over on the RC Air Marshals channel and, and it helps. It helps me a lot, Michael. So if you would type that in there. So that's, that's, it's, it's helpful for guys like me. So not that way, Kenny Sprouse. He he hooks it up like the people do on Reitza. That's it. All right, now we got it, Michael Reitza. All right. So I know you spelled it out there one day. I'm like, oh, that's how you pronounce it. But I, I hate to butcher everybody's last name. We hate, we like to get information right when we do things here. Just playing crazy. But what do you guys think? You like the neon signs? You like the 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 old decals there in the background? If you haven't done so already, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you smash the bell notification so you get made aware of all of my content. Guess what's coming up? If you're interested in full gas engine installs, we are doing that to the Gator RC Giant Scale Zero 
We got the auto start fired up the other night. We got servos in. We got some wiring yet to do. Things getting a little bit closer. Just so you know, this thing is going to have um, two different levels of telemetry in that giant scale. So we're going to have engine temperature, engine RPM coming my way. Um, total of 13 necessary channels on there. So we are going to be using a uh, telemetry expander through that Jetty DS12 that I have. And then we are also going to be using a serial bus expander so we can actually get 13 channels out of a 10 channel receiver. Again, so many cool people in the Jetty industry, my buddy Ronnie, the guys at Aero Panda. You can reach out to all them guys with questions. I know Harry Curzon and his channel, all that stuff is super helpful. Hey, you know, like they say, Limu, Emu. No, that's not it. When you go Jetty, you don't go back. That's just the way it is. This stuff is fantastic. So if you guys check it out, that's why we're here. Um, the neon signs in the back from Dave Simmons at Neon Exposure. If you missed it, go back to the beginning of the video. He actually shows you how he handcrafts and bends some of the stuff. I can't imagine the, the time and the skill needed to do those signs there in the background. So... Uh, again, I wanted to make sure I shared that with you guys and you got to see and showcase his talent um, because that's what we like to do. People that have cool skills and offer cool services, we like to make sure that we throw that stuff out there. So I hope everybody's having a good night. What do you guys got going on? Do you care to put anything down there in the uh, conversations? Kent's here, been watching through uh, real cool both signs or keepers for sure. He gave me two options. So, you know, we had to choose. It's like, hey, can we do oh. both? Both. That's the way to go, right? So we get to see his shop there. There's Mr. Ronnie in the background. We got Larry, Dave. Give us thumbs up, the like, the subscribe, the share, right? And we got the Limu Emu Llama helicopter, the electric one in the back. We got the turbine one there in the background. This is all super cool stuff when we go to the field. We are loving everything RC related and all the cool skills that all of these guys have in this room. It's amazing. So Kent, thanks for joining us, man. Uh, again, Timmy's down in here. We got Tug Hill. Um, some really cool stuff that we're always working on and just playing crazy. Hey, trying to Jason bring you guys. Rice, Mike's a subscribe button, button. Yeah, Jason Bryce, make sure you hit the J hit that subscribe button for okay. me, will you? Will you for sure? All right, there it is. You see that subscribe thing in the background? Make sure you smash that. Give me the old like. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Hit the uh, thumbs down button twice for me. All right. Um, if you guys have comments, make sure you comment down below. We'll be sure to answer all of those as we always do. All right. If we have any other comments in here, anything that's of uh, interesting, Jason Rice finally subscribed. Yes, I'm a winner. I got that stuff. I locked it in. We got we to gotta keep the man's. It, it cost me a sticker, though. I have a feeling. Everything's got a price. <laughs> Nothing's for free. Nothing's for free. Tell Mike I'll get down and do more. So, yeah, so, uh, Mr. Kenny, hey, I have my JPC hoodie on uh, with that Spectrum hat. You know, I fly a lot of stuff on Spectrum. I won't, I won't beat it up, but, you know, there's just at some point we got we to gotta move on. What I like about the Spectrum DS-12, fully customizable, put switches anywhere you want to. And if anything fails, you simply take it out yourself and you put in a new one. You want a knob there, you want a slider there, that, that Jetty radio is intuitive. And for a 12 channel, I can actually make it a 16 channel or a 20 channel as you keep putting serial expanders in it, which I just found out. Ah, it's cool. You want to put your gear down, you can talk to your radio and tell it, gear down, and it'll put the gear down for you. So, yeah, so we definitely get reminders. There's nothing There's nothing more bad aid than that, uh, that Jetty. Hey, what's up, Pilot Jerry? How are you doing, brother? Thanks for joining us. I appreciate you guys jumping in. Kenny, if you want to spend all the money on that Spectrum hat, you could have bought yourself a DS-12. If you guys haven't seen it, go dig in through my videos and find the beginner version of the DS-12. When you're hanging out at the campfire, if you want, you can play Tetris on the thing, too. It helps with your finger and stick skills because we all need a little bit of that. So with that being said, yes. What else we got down here comment-wise? Uh, Mr. Roach Coach, Heli is in the house. So Roach Coach, you're a, you're a Heli guy, right? Let me take you back over to here. And we're going to show you the Limu Emu. So this is the uh, electric version of the Llama. Bring, that, bring your head over here, Dave. Let me see the head. Face it up. Can you? Or is it hooked up by wires or something? What's that? The, the head of this thing. This. Show me. Show me. There it is. Look at that thing. So if you guys get to see in there, we got some, we got a naked pilot. This is an X rated channel here. Just so you guys know, he's got that nice mirror system. It's magnetic on the side. We got, we got naked pilots in there. This is the X rated YouTube channel version, RC related stuff. So 
Dave is a, uh, a, a heli fanatic here for sure. So let me take you in and show you the real prize here of this turbine. Uh, I am not a heli guy, but I know cool when I see it. This thing is monstrous. All right. That, that heli, that's a very, very scaled out heli. All of the detailed rivet work and in there. This thing, I know he's taking to urchin some other top-notch places, but true turbine heli right there. Um, as I said, Dave's an RC enthusiast himself, so he absolutely loves the RC hobby. It's a, uh, a nice setup for sure. And when you look at his shop and all the stuff that he can do here for you guys, all of the neon tube bending that goes on there in the background and all of that setup. And when we talk about just playing crazy, having tons of planes, this guy's in the helis. So I'm not a heli guy. I can't tell you a whole lot about the helis. Again, but I know cool when I see it. And this guy's got some cool stuff. So we absolutely love abs <laughs> Naked and Afraid. Yeah, in a heli, you have to be Naked and Afraid, right? So um, very, very, very cool place. I got some I got some friends that wicked smart. You like apples? I like them apples. Emu, emu. So that's going to be stuck in your head, I hope, forever. So just playing crazy. And as you see here, we're wiring up some rc geek center burners um at the end of the day another great center burner option besides the other ones that you've seen here yeah <laughs> after you spend all the money on a big old heli like that yeah i you know maybe there isn't dave did you run out of funds for the heli uh on clothes spend all the fund is on the on the heli itself so we didn't have any money left for clothes pretty much yeah okay That's what happens. so if you're interested in helping dave out do me a favor hop down in the description below for the link to neon exposure and order yourself up some cool custom signage like i have there in the background again we got to figure this camera thing out um if you guys see those neon cool glowing signs back there um Go over to his site, check him out. If you have your own custom logo of any kind or you want him to make you yeah. something, he custom cut everything on that. Uh, the back the back logo, the plexiglass plating, the neon, everything in there, he did himself all by hand and uh, produced me some phenomenal stuff, some phenomenal stuff, and I'm super grateful for that. So I want you guys to go over there and check him out. And if you, met, and if you mention to him that Just Playing Crazy sent you, uh, he'll get you 10% off of that order because he's such an aviation RC enthusiast himself, just like you guys. But it's a dying craft he's been working on for over 40 years. So, uh, again, you commercial guys are out on the discount. It's only RC-related stuff. Three, 300 is, is kind of like base cost when we're talking signs. So somebody in here asked about base cost. You're looking roughly right around that $300 mark. So if you're, you know... Again, in that market, um, I want you guys to hop over there and check them out. But there's a lot of time and hand craftsmanship in there. And really, when it comes down to it, um, you know, that's the the skill that you are paying there for. So streaking yeah, as it goes by, what the hell noise. So um, what do you guys got going on tonight? Are you just hanging out, hanging out in the couch, not doing much? Are we uh, down in our, our own little layers or basement working on our own stuff. What do we got going on for you guys downstairs? I wanted to share with you um, kind of what we're into. We're hanging out with the guys. I haven't got together with this group of phenomenal people for a while, and it was worth the trip to hop up here and to uh, get our signage done to our trailer because guess what's right around the corner? It is airplane season for sure. It is airplane season. Um, you know, we got to get out flying. So we got to make sure that the rig is ready to go. We're going to be going to some some phenomenal events. EDF Jet Jam uh, over in Elizabeth, Indiana. That one's locked in. Wally Squadron down in West Virginia locked in. Uh, Wings over Piper and Lock Haven locked in. Our own Aerobats Fly-In locked in. Uh, we're going to do some stuff over at Susquehanna Valley Modelers. That stuff's locked in. Down in Fredericksburg, Virginia, that stuff is locked in. Warbirds over Delaware locked in. Lots of cool events you're going to see Just Playing Crazy at this year. Make sure you come over. Check me out. We're going to, uh, if you want, if I got Dave Simmons stickers from Neon Exposure still left, I'll get you guys hooked up with some of those as well. Um, again, you can always check out the merch store. It's not in this link, but it's actually in any of my other video links. I put the uh, merch store in there. So if you're interested in a Just Playing Crazy t-shirt, mask, um, pretty much well sweatshirt anything else that you could possibly imagine that stuff is in there as well That's over at the teespring store. It immensely helps out the channel 
as well as uh, getting yourself hooked up with the PayPal link. But those aren't in the live description. Those are in any other video description. That stuff helps out. But I hope you guys like the, the neon signs there. Let's get you a little bit closer so you can see them again. This is the uh, green one. And if I have to say I have a preference, I like this one the best. This one is backlit. So there's my logo that he puts in a, um, is, that's plexiglass, right? That's what that's considered. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got the plexiglass with the backlighting to it. And then he shaped the neon green tubing around it. And then here you can see the red tubing that he has um, all bent for the actual logo and stuff. And those are on pull switches. So all the mounting and stuff is custom as you guys can come in here and see. The guy does phenomenal work. So if you eat at any of them old school diners um, or any of those shops that still give you that kind of retro 60s look, if you will, um, that is that is the work that this man does. So the whole town is full of his pieces of artwork from vinyl graphics and stickers to the neon tube bending. And if you um, you're just joining me, that stuff is all in the very beginning of this video. Please go back and check it out. He actually shows you. Um, what he does to blow into tubes and form and shape some of this stuff and using stones to roll it out, following patterns and outlines. We all have our own skills and crafts, and uh, that is by far his. So, But uh, what do we got in here comments-wise? So um, two hours from Buffalo. Yeah, so we're, we're hanging out here in, um, in Dubois, you know, and I, I look at Dubois, believe it or not, I don't know what the population is out here, but we hung out and we ate at some diners and stuff over there. But it's almost like a mini New York City, I feel like, when you walk through it. As you go through town, there's streetlights and different signage and stores you can walk in and out. And it kind of gives you that um, New York City kind of kind of feeling, if you will. So, yeah, I guess it's not uh, too far from, from Buffalo. So that's pretty cool information. Um, if you're not too far from Buffalo lock Haven, I don't know where that is from you. Maybe two or three hours, uh, three hours, maybe it's worth coming down to. If you've never been there wings over Piper at lock Haven airport, Piper aviation, the home of Piper aviation is literally the museum is right behind us. So you can go over there and check out the Piper museum, lots of cool scale aircraft, and you can see the buildings and you fly in and out of the field where they used to fly the, uh, like the J threes and stuff like that as they were, um, being produced and made. So you guys have a favorite? What do you think of the signs? You like the red or green? Give me, give me the vote. What do you prefer in the background? Um, does the plane, uh, does he plain vinyl decal or should we leave that to Cali? Do you, um, do you do any logos for planes and stuff like that? If people wanted to dress up a plane, Dave, is that stuff you do or you could do? Yeah. He said he would build, uh, Mike, he said he would be willing to, uh, take a look at that and see what you're interested in. Yeah, so if you're if you're familiar with Lockhaven, dude, look up that event. It's fantastic. I'd love to hang out with you and fly for a little bit. Um, we eat. We have a great time there. Um, we do the nighttime bonfire thing and hang out. It's it's been a, a blast. I've been there for the last two years. So we got a couple votes on the green one. We got like almost twenty guys in here. What do you guys think? Give me some more. Give me some more. He's going to he's going to say red. All right. So cool. Guess what we went with? We're going with both. We love it. We absolutely love it. The red looks dope. So yeah, I love it. Um, so we're going to wind up cutting out of here, guys. I appreciate everybody joining me again as we're down here just playing crazy at Neon Exposure. If you haven't done it already, smash that like button for me. And give me a thumbs up. Um, again, like, share, subscribe. If you want to check out Neon Exposure, uh, all the information is down there below. Um, Dave Simmons, again, he's he's the man, and he definitely got me hooked up here. I love, love his craftsmanship and his work. Um, you can check out his link below, and if you're interested in anything, please tell him Just Plain Crazy sent you, and he's going to give you 10% off of your order as long as it's RC-related. No commercial uh, discount there for any commercial work, but he does do commercial work. Uh, that 10% off just won't apply there. It's RC-related stuff because that's what we do at Just Plain Crazy. Um, otherwise do me a favor, like share, subscribe. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. You're just playing crazy for all of you hanging out with me, subscribing and guess what we're close to. We are nearing the 2000 mark. We are just two months, month and a half over being doing this for one year. Um, and, and it has been phenomenal. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot along the way. I've learned a lot with you along the way. I love sharing this stuff. I love doing the videos. Uh, it is all for the love of the hobby itself. So with that being said, 
Um, it's Brendan here at Just Playing Crazy. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Patrick, Simon, Great Scott, Kenny, all of you, you're so awesome. Uh, thanks again down here in Dubois at Neon Exposure. Smash that like button. Hit the link up below. Peace out, guys. Happy flights.